Jeremy Tomlinson, Chief Executive Officer of England Golf. I had an opportunity in the, uh, the end of uh, 2019 to, uh, to go for this role of CEO of England Golf. And um, it was a role that I thought that I'd like, and I did, but I didn't really know too much about England Golf. So it was one of those ones that I thought, well, if I don't know too much about England Golf, perhaps a lot of other people don't know too much. So I felt that it could be an opportunity to help come in and uh, not only learn a lot about the governance of the game, but also come in and, and hopefully be able to spread a good message with regards to some great work that's being done. I've got about 140 yards, it's into the wind. So yeah, I'm thinking to myself, I'm really gonna have to hit a knockdown shot here. So I'm probably gonna go with a slightly bigger club. I'm getting old and just try to hit it just under the wind. So just a little knockdown, maybe, maybe a little eight iron, something like that. So something that I, uh, I knew pretty soon coming in last year that, uh, that I was gonna have to, to work together with a team to put together was, was a strategic plan, was the next five year strategic plan, which of course for us would have been, is going to be 21 through 2025. So that was something that uh, um, you start off with a few ideas in your head, you start off with where you've been before, what, we're trying, what we've tried in the past, and then really what I did was I took from that um, in, in conjunction and collaboration with the team was how we could really focus in on certain key elements uh, that we could really form the basis, the, core, the, uh, the foundation, if you like, to our strategic plan. Um, part of which was obviously going to be, what, what are we going to call it? And, you know, we're a golf, we, we work in golf every day. And uh, so we felt that calling our uh, strategic plan, our course planner was, was right and appropriate. Um, we then wanted it to base it around a real easy tagline, a real easy message, which we have uh, is hashtag together in golf. We truly believe that whether you're a player, whether you're a golf club, whether you're a county, whether you're a PGA member, a greenkeeper, anybody who's working in golf, we are all better together in golf. Um, so that's a hashtag together in golf is, is, is our tagline. And then really we wanted it to be around those core elements that I speak so often about, you know, with regards to how we can uh, inspire um, how we can energize, how we can deliver, um, how we can make our sport more, more inclusive. Um, it's so, so important that, we, that there are the certain elements that, that we have an inclusive sport that anybody, there's an equality of opportunity that people feel that they can come along and try our game and enjoy our game. Next up obviously is that when they do that, they feel extremely safe doing it. Um, and that's a huge, that's a huge responsibility. So we, 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 we take our safeguarding responsibilities, our safe golf, as we call it, safe golf accreditation incredibly seriously. We have other responsibilities that we must lead by example in golf, such as sustainability. What does our carbon footprint look like? What's our waste management like? What's our, uh, our water management like? We have a whole host of things. You know, and not only that, but you know, from a sustainability, quite simply, um, we need to be able to look after our golf clubs from a financial perspective because there, that's where our members play golf. And uh, anything that we can do to support and advise, always in the shadows, but just so that those clubs know that they have a support, um, a support organization uh, in, in the background there to help them to continue to provide that, uh, uh, that place for our members to go and enjoy their golf is, is, is really important. So, as I said, yep, came up a little short, so uh, got to see if I can just get this one in the dustbin lid, if you like. Certain things really do excite me with regards to the role, and uh, I have to say, the biggest one is, is that engagement with golfers. It really is, whether that's members of golf clubs, whether it's independent golfers, whether it's golfers who just like leisure and recreation, you know, I, that's the bit that I really, um, it, I, I wake up every day and I think, how can we be better at that? How we, can we portray golf in the best possible light? How can we make 
non-golfers, non-believers, if you like, understand golf in a better way. And uh, that's what excites me. We've just launched our, our new iGolf campaign. It's, it's allowing us to reach out to golfers in a way that we've never done so in the past. And, and you know what, it's, it's allowing us a great deal of latitude to be able to do things in a different way. So uh, I think as I watch that continually succeed and the, subscri the subscription platform grow, that's really something that's going to excite me and does excite me. And uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah, we're in a good place there and I think we're going to be able to push forward well.